All right, today, first of all, little studio setup, got some lighting going on. I'm probably gonna repeat that again in the next clip. However, I have five ways to cut serious weight out of your backpack that no one else on YouTube is talking about. And I can promise you that. Here we go, roll it. I am an experienced ultralight backpacker. I have five ways to Five, that's five. You gotta put your hand like right up in the, five. Five ways to instantly drop weight on your pack. Number one, and this is gonna be the biggest one. This one item alone weighs more than your big three. Your shelter, your sleeping bag, and your backpack, all right? That's water, okay? Now, most of the people that I know, and most of the trips I've been on, I'm not going out for any more than three days anyways. So guess what? A human being can survive up to three days without water. Bam, there you go. Ditch the water. You don't need the water. And, and I know some of you are gonna say, but what, what about my biscuits and gravy in the morning? Uh, you know what? Stop, okay? Here's what you do. You open the pack, you mix it up, and you eat it. That, it's that simple. Or better yet, don't take those stupid meals that take two cups of water and take snack bars. Just do it. Most of you have a big two pound thing of Doritos strapped to the back of your pack anyway, so you're not even dehydrating your meals. You're not eating healthy anyways. So that's num tip number one, get rid of the water. You don't need it. All right, tip number two, number two, you don't need cutting tools, all right? That was hard one for me, and it's hard for me to say that because I am a bushcrafter. And bushcrafters, we are very, very, very tool heavy. I'm talking eight pounds, and that's for one night. So, you, but you don't need it. You do not need it. Take a pair of scissors. This is the Gerber dime, by the way. Take a pair of scissors. You know those hangnails you get, or that one fingernail that just didn't get cut quite right while you're trying to do it in the middle of the night sitting on the commode getting the clippings all over the floor and pissing off your wife yeah that one when you go to put your underwear on it kind of snags you and you're like ah oh. okay that's all you need pick pick a finger it doesn't matter uh I, I i would do either my thumb or my index finger just cut a little notch in there all right that there's your knife that's all you need all you're doing is you're slicing up cheese or cutting open packets of, of food anyway so that's all you need. You're not cutting bank line. You're not making notches. You're not making snares to catch squirrels. So that is tip number two. Tip number three, and this is a big one, and I know a lot of people are going to give me flack about this one, but it does work. Tip number three is don't take a quilt or a sleeping bag. All right, now hear me out before you turn me off, okay? I want you to think about this. All these guys, all, all ultra like, uh, oh, winter, woo, it's, it's going to get down to 50. Woo, okay, what do they do? They've got the fleece, you know, they got the, the Melanzana fleece that you can't buy unless you go on eBay and pay some Melly Pirate you know, $180 for a, what is worth probably a $60 shirt. Okay, you got that on. You got your big, you know, puffy ghost whisper thing on and then you went on z-packs and bought the big puffy helmet head looking thing on your head you bought the puffy pants for hammock gear you got those on and because they had a sale on them on backcountry.com you went and bought those stupid puffy boots for your feet okay there's your sleeping bag that's your quilt you're already wearing it why bring something else you don't need it you're already in a quilt okay you look kind of stupid but you're in a quilt that's all you need throw down your mattress boom you're good to go now number four is communication everyone says well what, what if i get lost or what, what if my hangnail comes off and i can't open up my protein bar uh, I, I gotta have a gps a little garmin mini or some hey guys stop 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 okay number one it's expensive this these are like three four hundred dollars number two you have to have a subscription okay i will admit the garmin one's a little better because you can do it monthly and cancel it whenever you want so that's a little plug for you garmin uh 
However, the other ones, it's a yearly subscription and they're insane, okay? You don't need that. You don't, okay? If your phone doesn't work, I have a solution, okay? There are plenty of hardworking, excellent trainers out there and plenty of places to buy carrier pigeons, okay? Carrier pigeons have been used throughout the decades for hundreds of years for sending messages. That's all you need. Take a carrier pigeon with you. And here's the thing. It's not going to add weight to your pack because it's going to fly by himself. Where you stop, he lands. If there's a problem and your hangnail comes off or you feel antsy or feverish, you, you send him on his way and he goes and gets help. Stop with all the GPS. You, you don't need it. Don't You don't need compass. Forget it. You don't need that either. All right. It's just extra weight. We're trying to get some weight down. Get the weight down. All right, number five, this is the last one for now. I have plenty of these coming up, by the way. Tons of these great ultralight weight cutting ideas. Number five, ditch the trekking poles. <laughs> but my Z-Pax duplex requires a trekking pole. My Dan Durston requires two trekking. Stop the whining, okay? Wherever you go, at least where I hike, there are trees everywhere. Everywhere there are trees. And by the way, most of these guys that do these long trips like Darwin and Frozen and, you know, Bigfoot, all these guys, whenever they're hiking, all the intro videos, they're not even using the trekking poles. They're in the side of their pack. All right, so you don't need them. Grab a couple sticks. They're free. And they're probably even lighter than the trekking poles. Well, what about my tent? Well, you know what? If you bought a cheap tent that doesn't have a grommet so that the, that the stick doesn't go through the tent, take it back, all right? Because you, you don't need it. You just prop it up. Heck, you probably, if you, if you cut the, the stick right, okay, with your finger, your hangnail finger, you, you, you can use it for the trekking pole and the tent. And yes, you can have two of them. There's plenty of trees and limbs out there. All right. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, take those pieces of advice, work them into your system, and then list below how much weight you cut. I'm telling you, the biggest one's going to be water. You, you're, I'm telling you, you could cut four to six pounds just by getting rid of the water. Just get rid of the water. Ditch it. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper. Camping out.